Hi, I'm Dan Green with 4MS Company, and here we at NAM 2016, we have a new product we're showing. It's the DLD, the Dual Looping Delay. It is two channel, high quality, long looping time delay and looper, looping delay. So it is, each channel has a maximum looping time of 88 seconds. And each channel also runs at 48 kilohertz, 16 bits, so it's very high quality. And they, the timing is synced and related to a master clock. You can also unquantize that off the master clock to have two completely different times, or you can keep it synced to uh, beats, number of beats, or eighth notes, as it's selected now. So we have added some new features that uh, weren't present in last uh, some of the previous shows we've shown is that reverse is now added on, which lets you reverse the contents of memory. Um, we still have infinite hold, and we have clock outs for the, uh, each loop channel. The, the clock, when the loop starts, a trigger is fired, which is useful for syncing it to other things. So let's uh, go over the features real quick. Here I have, a, you're hearing the dry signal only. Channel is synced to a clock. I have an external clock running in, it's going at that rate. So we can hear. You can hear an echo there, I can turn the feedback up. Or a nice blooming echo. Turn the other channel on, you can hear how the timing works. So both channels are at one, so they're going the same rate. I can turn this to like 1.5 for instance. Like a syncopated rhythm pattern. We can go really long. I'll make a longer loop here. And you hear there's no clicking or, or popping when I'm changing the time. It's because it crossfades between different read head positions. So I could. Uh, Maybe hold, loop one of these, and then reverse it. Reverse and hold also have trigger inputs here, which is really handy uh, with taking your loop clock, for instance, to reverse the other channel on a beat, or take another clock from a clock divider to do four bars forward, four bars backwards, for instance. You can also window around within memory of whatever your loop is when you have infinite hold on by adjusting the time knob. Um, you, you can change the start and the end point of the loop by reversing, changing the time knob, changing the time knob without reverse. Uh, you, can, you can window around in the memory all the way up to 88 seconds previous to what you have done. So if you've been playing, we've been standing here for a minute maybe, I could window back to what we were hearing a minute and a half ago, approximately. Still with infinite hold, kept in memory, so it's pretty handy for that. Uh, we have some other pretty typical controls. You might see feedback already showed a little bit. Goes up to 110% for that blooming echo effect. Let me hear, show you how that sounds like. If I flip it to eighth notes, I get a faster delay. I can flip feedback up. So we also have controls for delay level, which is how much of the input signal is actually laid down on the end memory or on the analogy of tape. So it doesn't affect the dry wet mix, it just is how much it's recorded. Um, as I said, we have the clock outs for each, for master and for each channel. And then we have CV inputs for all the uh, time feedback and the delay level. Um, there's some, some tricks. You can hold down reverse button and get an unquantized uh, use of the time knob so it doesn't snap to integers. It just it works like a normal knob and I'll show you that over on this delay. 
This DLD is set up for resonant delays right now. I'm running a VCO into it. So this is a regular uh, Bifaco one volt per octave controlled VCO here. Um, any square wave VCO works. Uh, we have it running at audio rate. Um, and I'll bring that up in the mix so you can hear what's, what's happening. I'm going to play a vocal or some kind of sample here. So my sample is that, basically an uh, Autechre song. What we have is a resonant delay happening, we have a very short delay time. I'm going to play with the time knob and let you hear how that changes things. Feedback also does interesting things. It, it becomes regeneration, resonance. I'll also play with the VCO's pitch. The pitch of the VCO controls. type string bowed instrument sounds. Um, so that's another use of the DLD. Very short times, medium times, even very, very long times. Uh, it's all super high quality. It always sounds exactly like what you put in unless you really goof it up like we were doing with the VCO. And we're pretty happy to be coming out with this in about two months. You should see it shipping in April. And the retail price will be $3.99 US. So we hope it's affordable for everyone and it's uh, 20 HP, so should fit very well in your system. Um, yeah, we hope people have fun with it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dan. Thanks. Award-winning customer service. Fast, free shipping on most orders. Own the gear of your dreams today.